Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here, hopefully your favorite Dark Tide YouTuber, and today, the Wok, the people's champion, the man with the massive coxcomb, is going to uh, actually do a little bit of coaching. So I don't really get a chance to do a lot of teaching on stream, because sometimes the situation is pretty intense, I'm answering questions, things like that. So much like I tried to do with Psyker, um, I'm going to try and make some coaching videos. Uh, that for the veteran as well. Uh, I'll be alternating between all of this. Uh, each time it'll be a different style that I do in my coaching video because I didn't. I don't have a build to drop tonight, and there's some other content that I'm working on, but it's it's kind of background right now. Plus, I'm a bit lazy, so today I'm just gonna show do some coaching, and show you guys how I play with the veteran using the plasma gun, uh, with full explanations for everything that I do, actions that I've taken, you know, mistakes that I made, blah 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 blah. All right. Let's get into it, shall we? Now, this video is going to be authentic, as we always do, so that means that there's going to be minimal editing. In fact, no editing, if I can manage it. Okay? For these coaching videos, we always use a quick play damnation run instead of the usual auric damnation, which I run on stream. Uh, why do we use a normal damnation run when the build that we're going to be using is already proven in auric damnation? We do it in, damnation, in the normal damnation run so you guys get the flavor of the gameplay usually but with less intensity all right so it's easier to learn see things and understand things okay so before we go in just a quick reminder the build that we are playing is the plasma gun veteran with voice of command all right this is the most recent build that i've released and the build has no variation from what you would see what you see in the video okay uh, I'll be playing the chain sword though instead of the power sword. Why? Just because it is my personal preference. The power sword is what I, I like to use, but the chain sword offers me much better mobility, which I find more useful in the field. And the plasma gun, of course, would be the standard weapon of choice. In fact, right now it is the best weapon of choice. So we're going to go in. Standard damnation. Quick play. Here we go. Let's hope we can get a good match. And then, once we get a good match, the walk. The people's champion will go through, step by step, how we do this shenanigans. And don't worry, my face will not be visible during it. Not because I'm scared to show you guys my face, okay? But because, uh, you don't need to see my resting bitch face while I'm busy trying to teach you guys, alright? So, yeah. Enjoy the hair now, okay? Enjoy the hair. This is literally just my messy hair, you know, when I don't have my cap on, like I normally do during streams. I mean, I don't know, maybe it just gives me a little more personal feeling, maybe. Three zealots and one veteran. Wow, what a team. Okay, let's see if we can coach during this. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> Turns out it's Shock Trooper Gauntlet anyway, I guess, but let's see if these guys are ready. Okay, um, hopefully this, this video doesn't just end in like five minutes uh, after we get in. That would be pretty sad, but... Okay, let's try, let's try. Right. <clears throat> when hope is lost, dust is all that remains. Okay, zombie, homemade coconut, and gigaprites. All right. Oh man, they killed the mauler? Jeez, what a waste of a shot. Okay, I'll just trust them to do it. Now, usually what I'll do is I'll let these guys handle the basic creatures. And I will focus mainly on actual targets like that. If you start to see anyone coming into melee, that's when you will start to use voice of command. However, don't spread your supply lines too thinly, okay? If one of these guys comes in, I'll just absolutely do something like that. Okay. 
Now, yes, this is Shock Troopers, and yes, this is a pretty bad maneuver, but the fact of the matter is, when you don't need to use your gun, please don't use your gun, okay? You are going to run out of ammo real quickly. Now, that guy shooting the Muti, probably a bad idea. Muties are supposed to be killed in melee to save ammunition, okay? But uh, it's also up to each individual. Now, this person is using the revolver against normal targets. Might not be the wisest decision, okay? I generally avoid using uh, ammunition on anything that doesn't require it. Now, Auric Damnation doesn't contain creatures or enemies that are any stronger than a regular Damnation mission. Please keep that in mind. Now here, because there are multiple enemies to shoot through, I will happily use my gun because this is the time to use it well, alright? That said, I'm not afraid to also switch into melee, alright? You'll be restoring ammunition for everybody, but at the same time, you don't want, you don't want uh, too much ammunition consumed across the board, okay? Pick up where it can because as the veteran that is your right. Veterans always have right to ammunition but of course don't waste it either and please be sure to help your team where you can. Uh, my weapon didn't switch there that was my bad I was not supposed to do that. Oh there we go. Now your voice of command can also be used to let's say somebody's coming up and approaching you right. You can actually use voice of command under those situations to uh Either save yourself, like from a burster or something, alright, or to help your team. Now keep in mind that this is Shock Troopers, so it probably would be a good idea not to, uh, oh dear. Now where I can, like I say, I always use my melee instead. Why? Because it is very important that you do so. Now get the enemy bleeding. And then start hitting it hard. Where you can, like I said, save ammunition if possible. If it uppercuts you, that's okay. But if you're fighting it in such a wide uh, area, all right, you probably won't have too many difficulties. Just be careful of the stomp. The stomp is very high damaging. All right, and there you go. That's a plague ogren solved without much difficulty. Very nice. Okay, all done, all clear. Now, ammunition is a bit of a concern, like I said, so just be careful with that. Oh. When cancelling, remember, try not to fail your cancels like I just did there, okay? And if these guys are going this way, then I'll follow them. Always stick with your team, try not to use your own independent pathway. If you need to adapt, adapt as, ne as well, needed. I know I screwed up pronouncing adapt as needed. I was gonna say adapt as necessary, then you know, my mouth being my mouth was all like, you know what? Robot doesn't need to talk. Yeah, sure, he's a creator, but screw him. We'll just say whatever we want to say. Ooh, ammo, that's mine. Now we're full up. Feel free to, uh,. Doge, with this dude, okay. There we go. Lol. That poor fella. 
I know that was just one little dude, but meh. <laughs> he deserved it. Okay, so we've gone up here. Oh. You good? Come on, coconut. Why are you wasting time? Okay, try not to waste time. Be effective, be fast in what you do. Okay, time to heal. So heal, grab your ammo, all that kind of stuff. Once everybody's good to go, you know, you move on. If you see it, if you see movement, immediately eliminate. Okay, avoid wasting too much time. Throw it there. Oh dear. Try not to separate too much from your team. Okay, when this happens. Because if you do not stick together or you decide to take too much independent action, what will happen is that the AI director will actually spawn multiple enemies in two different points. Usually, this is considered unwise. Okay, that was a failure for an explosion. I want to try and get him, but that's okay. There you go. You can also use the stun from your voice of command to get an objective done. It can be very useful in that particular case because it'll just help you, uh, it'll just help you settle enemies around you, so don't hesitate to use it in that way. And in this particular case, what we have is a situation where, you know, these guys generally know what they're doing, they're pretty good, they're pretty good at their role. Cover, cover effectively for your teammates, but uh, yeah, just be, just be ready and prepared. For now sometimes you'll unfortunately hit situations like that and there's no choice about it. All you can really do at this point is just, you know, go out a window or something, meet your team. And then, once you get to something like that, what I'll do is I'll usually just dance around. Try to avoid most of the uh, hits if I can. Alright, a little bit of a little bit of a push there. If I can see the target, I'll usually try and uh, hit it as well. kill it as long as I can see it. The only problem is when I cannot see it. Hey, are we good? There we go. Like I said, as long as I can see it, I can get it. Grab your plasteel along the way. And remember, you are their sniper. You got no choice. You better be able to hit your targets. But also, if people mark targets, life gets a lot easier. Now, what I'll usually do in situations like this is this is where my crack grenade goes. I will, uh,. I 
I'll aim as carefully as I can. As reasonably carefully as I can. And as long as the target's marked, it's dead. Yeah, like so. If I can see it, it's doomed. If I cannot see it, well, uh, it might live a little longer. And of course, conserve ammo where you can. Oh! Damn. Okay. That was not very cash money. There we go. That was pretty cash money. Okay, if you know the general direction, the best part about the plasma gun is that if you know the general direction of the enemy, they're doomed. Okay, so harvest your plasteel along the way. Now, keep in mind that this is, well, I mean, this is still Shock Trooper Gauntlet, but it's not high intensity. So, there is that at least. Which means that what you're seeing is a little bit easier than the standard uh, high intensity Shock Trooper. It's just normal Shock Troopers, which is pretty alright. Now, if I get a little, like, stuck like that, what I'll usually do is I'll be like, okay, so my apologies on that, and I'll just, uh, take a moment to, ooh, I'll just take a moment to use my voice of command, reorient myself, and again, this is why I like it so much. It's such, it's such a safe way of playing the game. Ooh, darn, that was unfortunate. Although ammo conservation is good, sometimes it will result in some negative uh, situations. Especially when hordes come in. Yep. It depends on how effective the decision making process of everyone is. Fortunately, that one was a bit. All of us were kind of caught in that area, so we just have to deal with it. If you have to switch weapons during a uh, fight like that, you kind of just have to accept it and you just have to say, okay, look, I gotta switch my weapon. It's where you have to decide that look, you need to you need to kind of. Oh dear! Homemade coconut. What are you doing? Why are you being a homemade coconut? Did they seriously separate that far? Sometimes you've got no choice but to uh, do stuff like that. Okay. But try to stick as much as you can. There you go. I prefer not to shoot these guys or waste my ammo on the low level enemies, but if it's necessary, you know, plasma round up the butt works real well. Okay. Now, in this particular case, uh, I am going to, I'm going to claim that, because I feel that the zealot should be able to handle. Now the other guy disconnected again. There goes our homemade coconut. Hopefully they'll be back. Now sometimes your shot will end up being a glancing shot instead of a instead of what do it one that does full damage, so just be aware of that, yeah. Like relax guys, y'all got a veteran, I'll handle it. Ooh, that was four in one blow. I trust Zellies to deal with hounds and stuff like that in melee. Oh, the homemade coconut's back. 
As much as I can, for ammo conservation purposes, I'll try and hit multiple targets in one shot. If I can. Well, I'll try and get them all lined up. That Amurio is that guy. Well, now, where do I use a charge shot? Only in situations like that, where I know that there's multiple enemies, I may not get a clear shot. I use a charge shot there and then because I know it's just going to penetrate through multiples, and uh, usually it it settles things pretty nicely. Oh, there we go. A little bit of a, a little bit of a bump there. enough okay we made it here with relatively little difficulty uh in this particular case this is one of the only situations where i'll surrender the ammo to others pick up roots yep there you go okay we get why because i want the zealots uh fully fully ammoed up and ready obviously this will make make it so that they uh are prepared for the final conflict because the final conflict is going to involve a lot of you know movement and that kind of things i want them stocked up and ready okay let's go that is a whole lot of love Unfortunate, had to stand up on the thingy. Now, if they could mark the target, I'd be very grateful. I can't, literally cannot see any of that. All the way on the other side, huh? Okay. So I'm just gonna take it calm, relax and easy, and take a stroll through damnation, yeah? We'll do a little crab walk. Okay, remember in a serious situation, you might want a crab walk. Crab walking can help you. Okay, here it is. Right.
Probably should not have reloaded there. Probably rather cool of me. Okay, good. This is where you must trust your team. These guys have... Oh dear. Got him. Okay, they decided to use the, the med pack here, which is fine with me. I'm okay with it. Let them heal. Wait for your team. Cover. Okay, good. Now, unfortunately, even if you have the field improvisation, the, um, the wounds cannot be healed. So just be aware of that. That's why I don't use it. Because wounds are usually more of a problem than uh, corruption. try and use uh, my voice of command in a serious firefight or oh, well serious melee I guess That's a nice and easy run. So yeah, um, that was like not too problematic. Remember, ammo conservation is very important when you're doing this kind of thing. So just make sure that you try and conserve your ammo. You try and always save up what you can. Okay, don't don't go in too deep. Don't go in too gung ho. All right, but for the most part, you can uh, you can usually swing battles pretty easily. Uh, in your favor as long as you know what you're doing as long as you know what you're doing and of course try to mark targets a lot of the time people don't and it's really hard you saw you saw toward the end as soon as the target if a target is marked I could take it out instantaneously but if you don't frequently mark targets and you generally have an idea where they are um, it doesn't really help the veteran because if I have to manually search for every target I'm wasting time okay so that's just the biggest feedback that I can. This is why I'm going to tell you guys. Some people find it annoying. I don't. I'll tell you. Bind your tag to your primary fire. Paint the whole screen red. Everybody's going to thank you for it. You're just going to see specials go bang, 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 bang. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like more coaching videos like this, 
um, hopefully where I can go through some more runs with uh, different techniques, different weapons. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. All right. And for now, y'all have a good night. Sorry that there's no proper video tonight, but I hope y'all have a good time. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see your sexy faces on the next one. Thank you to all of our cool, weird, honored, prestige, plus ultra, and only fan robots. You channel members are awesome. Thank you to all of our top supporters. See you on the next one.